Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a first impressions and review of the Ingrid Nielsen and Bare Minerals kit that she, I guess, collaborated with them on. She's basically the face of Bare Minerals. She came out with this kit. It's called Be Your Best Self. And it comes with a limited edition invisible glow highlighter in Resilience. Also, it comes with their limited edition beautiful finish brush, this makeup bag here that also says Be Your Best Self on it, and then you get to choose your shade in the Original Mineral Foundation. So like I already showed you guys, this is what the bag looks like. Be Your Best Self is written on the front, and then Bare Minerals Ingrid Nielsen is written on the back there, but you're not going to see it. You're just not going to see it, so why am I showing it to you like that? I don't know. Inside the bag, you get the highlight this is what the highlight looks like in resilience then you get her limited edition brush it's basically the same brush that they've made um but it's like a rose golden champagne color and it says be you and like i said you get to choose your own shade so i ended up getting uh, neutral tan 21 and let me tell you it was an adventure trying to find the right color and I'm still not quite sure this is the right color for me so we'll both find out here on camera then she put like a little card in it that has like a note that says hey you and on the back it gives you directions on how to apply the foundation so on with why I had some issues finding my right color. I actually used Bare Minerals years and years ago and when Ingrid uh, released this collection with them, it like made me want to try out Bare Minerals again. I haven't used them in like quite some time in years. So I went to the store, they came out with new shades with the release of this collection I believe. So now they have 30 shades. So I went to Sephora and the first shade I ended up purchasing was Neutral Dark and when I came home and tested it out, the undertone did not look right. And then I remembered I actually did have some leftover Bare Minerals foundation from years ago. I probably should have thrown it out but I didn't. So I swatched those colors. I tested out Dark dark looked even worse than the neutral dark that I just bought and then I tested out warm tan which was the color I wore a lot back then and it looked way better than the other two but the undertone was still a little like red it was a little off so I actually swatched those colors here on this little like paper this color on the left is dark which is a little too dark for me and the undertones a little off and then this was the neutral dark which I feel like shade wise it's good it's not too dark or too light but the undertone is still off and then this is warm tan which actually kind of looks like my color on the paper but when I when I put it on my skin it still looked weird when I'm looking at my little screen viewfinder here it still looks like it's my color right because these colors seemingly didn't match me, I went back to the store and I swatched things again. Now the thing is, when I see words like tan and beige <laughs> or whatever, I don't think brown skin. I was not thinking to even look in the tan section even though warm tan was the color that I had before. I just wasn't thinking about it when I went this time. and I thought like there's no way that I'm lighter than warm tan but it's not necessarily that it might be more of a change in the undertone and less a change in the actual lightness or darkness of that foundation shade so I ended up just saying let me try this neutral tan and when I swatched it on me it seemed like it was a little bit more yellow and seemingly should match me better than the warm tan I also had issues because on the website and even in the store, it has like a picture for every shade, like a picture of a girl for every shade in that foundation. And they're like, okay, well, here's a picture for you to see what this person's skin tone looks like, and that should match you. But it doesn't. That's why I initially went with neutral tan, because to me, in that photo, the girl looks like, her skin tone looks like my skin tone. She doesn't look darker to me, but... I guess according to Bare Minerals, she is. And the girl that models Neutral Tan in the photos looks like she's a little too light. On top of that, the descriptions that they have for these foundations are also a little bit confusing. So on the website, it says they have Golden Tan, Neutral Tan, Warm Tan, Medium Dark, Neutral Dark, Golden Dark, Warm Dark, Warm Deep, Golden Deep, Neutral Deep, and Deepest Deep. 
So like say I hit warm tan. It says for tan to dark skin with cool to neutral undertones. Then when I click on medium, it says for dark skin with neutral undertones. See, I would think that would say neutral dark, not medium dark. Neutral dark says for dark skin with neutral undertones. So they both say the same thing. <laughs> so that's confusing. And then neutral tan, the color I got, says for tan to dark skin with golden undertones. The thing is they do have a golden tan. So the golden tan says for tan skin with subtle neutral to golden undertones. Now to me, I would switch that. like. Why wouldn't you make the neutral tan the one that says for subtle neutral to golden undertones and the golden tan to say for tan to dark skin with golden undertones? Like, I just feel like they could have chosen to name the shades better. I feel like they need to just switch that up. Just switch it up a little bit because it's a little confusing. If you just go off the name, you might get the wrong undertone for you because I would have never chosen neutral. I, I would have chosen golden. So that was an issue for me when it came to filing my correct shade. To me, it's a little convoluted, it's a little complicated. On top of that, the shades look lighter in the pots than they do on your face. These are the old foundations that I had. This is the dark color, and this is warm tan. These look lighter in the pots than they do on the face. As you guys can see, if I compare dark in the pot to dark on the paper that I have here, it's way darker on this sheet of paper. So. It's kind of hard to find your, your match, that's all I'm saying. One other thing I was worried about when getting the kit was the highlight. Because I do have this hourglass ambient light and uh, radiant light, I thought these were going to be very similar and they kind of do look pretty similar in the pots. But the ambient light is more of like a glow, like a sheen. And this is more like a highlight when I swatch it on my hand. So I think I'm in the clear here. So now that I've rambled forever, let's get into the actual first impression demo. So I have already moisturized my face and I'm going to prime with this Bare Minerals primer sample that I got. So I think what I wanna do is put the foundation on one half of my face with the Bare Minerals brush and then the other half I'm gonna use my trusty dusty e.l.f. Kabuki brush. So let's get into it guys. It comes like this with like the little, I guess directional sheet in there. And then it also has a sealed tab on it. So you know, nobody's using it. So I'm gonna tap a little bit of this into the lid. I think that should be enough. So I'm gonna do a direction state and I'm gonna swirl, tap it, and buff. Well, actually I think I'm gonna, cause I saw somebody else do this, like just tap it on their face first and then kind of buff it in. I'm looking a little gray. I feel like I remember this, that you kind of have to let it settle in for a little bit. I think this also just might be the wrong color. I, I mean, I don't know. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. We'll see if this oxidizes because right now I'm looking a little gray. So now we're gonna go on to my right side of the face using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Did I see that already? <laughs> I feel like I got fuller coverage with just one application with the Kabuki brush. Okay, so I believe that was about three applications on this side of my face and it's pretty much at the same coverage level as the left side of my face, which was about four. It's definitely a lighter coverage foundation. You can still see my dark spots here and here and like how my upper lip is a little darker, my chin area here. I'm gonna continue with applying the rest of my foundation so I can test out this Resilience Highlighter. So now to test out the highlight, I'm gonna use this like pointed fluffy, it's actually a blush brush from Sephora, I believe. I don't think they make it anymore. Natural Domed Powder Brush, number 59. So it's a powder brush. It might not show. I might have to go in with a smaller fluffy brush. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in with my Morphe 501, like small highlighting brush. Yeah, I like that. It's still subtle, but it's there. I like that a little bit more. I 
I'm actually gonna set my eyelids with this shadow and see what that does. Yep, yeah, that's pretty. Just a nice, really pretty, subtle glow to the eyelid. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like that would be like a really nice natural summer, spring, summer kind of look. I really like it on the lids, guys. My lips definitely need some exfoliation. I feel like you can see all the skins, all of it. Otherwise, this is the finished look. I do feel like the foundation has oxidized a little bit. I'm not looking as gray as I did when I first applied it. If you do want like a light coverage, like an everyday, your skin, but a little bit better, then I feel like this looks okay. I do like that it's a matte finish because I feel like my oils will start to come out. You know, the longer I wear it, a few hours in, it might look a little more dewy. So I do like that I got a matte finish and not the original one because I feel like the original pretty much starts out that way, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes into wearing it, your skin looks dewy. Let's set it and see what kind of look I get with setting it. So here I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. This spray is interesting to me. It reminds me, like the scent reminds me of hairspray. Old school Dominican hair salon hairspray. <laughs> it smells like hairspray. It's weird. I mean, it's not bad, but it's weird. <laughs> I'm not used to that kind of scent. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. This is what my skin looks like now that I've set it. I actually do like it a bit more. It does look a little more dewy. Not dewy, but like a little more natural, like a natural satin finish. I also do like that so far the mineral foundation is not settling into my smile lines. Overall, first impressions, I'm actually liking this makeup. I was a little worried about it when I first put it on because it was looking pretty gray on me like all the other ones. But the other ones, after I let it sit for like an hour, they still looked off and that's how I knew the color was not right for me. So, so far, natural tan, which I never would have chosen, seems to be my color. As far as this brush goes, when I look in the mirror, it pretty much looks exactly the same on both sides with this one versus my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Is it a need to have? No, not necessarily, but it is nice to have. So I don't think I would say you need the brush, but getting the whole kit actually is really nice. This bag is huge. You could put so much makeup in this bag. If you like Ingrid Nielsen, you're actually supporting her, which is pretty great. This highlight, I like it. It's subtle, it's really subtle, but I love how it made my eyes just pop a little bit. I actually think I might like it more for like an eyeshadow than on the cheeks. But like for everyday glow, like say you're going like on a date and you wanna look like, oh, I look like this all the time. Uh, this is me naturally. You could like wear this. I don't know. But I know not everybody likes like an in your face, like beaming highlight. So I will see how this foundation wears throughout the rest of the day. I'm not gonna come back for a checkup, but I will take a photo and I also will write in the description box how it wore for me throughout the day. So let me know what you guys think about this foundation on me. Do you like it? Do you think it's a hit? I think it's a hit. I really don't think it's a miss here. If you are going to try the Bare Mills foundation or you try it or use it or wanted to, write down in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. And if you want me to do more like foundation reviews, things of that nature, let me know that too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Peace out. I'm also one of those people that still has their Christmas tree up. You can totally judge me on that one. I think it's pretty. It goes with my background, right? It goes with my theme. I'm gonna take it down. I'm, go I'm gonna take it down.